Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use my black floral spine 8x8 uh, hinge template with placeholder along with the White House custom color 8x8 book cover template. Um, so you'd open White House custom color uh, template that you downloaded from their site when you started your account. It's for the 8x8 book cover for the hinged. The hinged has a smaller spine than the um, album. This is a hinged book as opposed to the album. So you have my template and the White House custom color template open. Click on my template. Go over here to the selection tool. I'm sorry, go on the layers on my template. Shift and click. Control and click all three so all three are highlighted. Control button down. Click, click, click. Then you're going to left click and drag the three layers to the White House custom color template. And then you just drag it into place. Go back to the original template that you ordered from me. Close that out because we don't want to change it. So now we only have the White House custom colored template with my layers on top. Now if you don't want a placeholder, what you do is you select the placeholder and the layer 2, the layer 2 is the border around the placeholder. So if you don't want a picture in your cover, highlight both of those by uh, holding the command key down. As you click on both of them, right click, delete layers. Do you want to delete the selected layers? Yes. So now you just have a blank slate to work with if you only want um, text. Or you can open a picture and simply drag the picture on to not have that border around it and you just have a picture. Um, so we're going to bring the frame back. I just went to history tab, went back a space and I'm going to drag my picture into it. I put my picture over it and then I go to edit, I'm sorry, layer, create clipping mask and that drops my picture into place it's too big for our purposes here so I'm going to go to edit free transform and then I can see the edge of my picture I'm gonna hold the shift key down click and drag the corner in and make it the size that I want to so it fits into my placeholder the way I want it to and let's see I think I'm gonna move it to right about there now and then I hit enter to get rid of the transform uh, space around that and then if I want to move this say I want to slide it up a little I'm going to select these three layers now my picture the placeholder and the the layer that's this frame go on my move tool and just slide it up I could put it wherever I want to put it and I'm gonna plop it right there Okay, then I click off of these layers. Um, I can get rid of this background layer because that's just a blank layer from the White House custom color. Um, if you don't see these blue lines, just go view, show, guides. That's what those blue lines are. And that shows you the, the um, warning of don't go over this line because it won't print, print correctly. So then I'm going to put some names in here and I have a text layer. I'm going to use white just so I can see what I'm typing. Lindsay and Jason, May 15th, 2011. And I'm going to move the text to where I want it. And right now I have it on right justified. I'm going to select my text and instead of right justified I'm going to center it. And while I'm here I'm also going to click this which is my text color. Move the dropper to the color I want. I'm going to use the dark color that's in the book. Hit OK. One more thing I want to do is hit the Move tool and move my names over to center them under the picture. And maybe just move it up a little. And that looks good to me. So I'm going to go Layer, Flatten Image, and then I can do File, Save as Lindsay Jason cover 8x8. Save.